Good day, tankers. It's Sturmjäger21 here. Welcome to my channel. Um, I'm bringing you again another subscriber replay, and I am this time it is Matt782 Shimmy uh, in his Centurion 7 1 uh, tier 9 British medium tank. Um, this replay um, is, is uh, it's it, it's it's brilliant to watch. It's everything I love about a replay. It's aggressive. Um, it doesn't he doesn't give up at any point, and he comes out on top. Um, when I say he comes out on top, you'll see. But um, I'm probably a bit of a spoiler. This is a bit of a heartbreaker. But We'll see how he goes. So he's in the Centurion 71, the tier 9 British medium tank. Uh, he's on Mountain Pass. Uh, a map I find a bit frustrating because I seem to do pretty badly on it. And yeah, he's um, a pretty good player. He's got a 50% win rate, 52 sorry overall. He's got a f he's in the 55th percentile, um, which is quite good so he's um just well above average there so um we'll start the replay and we'll get on with it I might increase the size of my um size of my mini map there so we can actually see it properly um interesting uh with i don't know if uh, matt's australian um but he, just something to note on his clan name mong um in Australia, Mong, or, well, Monged, is uh, a derogatory or slang term for broken or stuffed, um, similar to munted. Uh, munted also oh, means stuffed or broken or whatnot. So, uh, so the game started, and we are heading down towards the middle bridge, which is where he'll set up. Centurion 71, from what I understand, is um, it's it's a nim it's a nimble tank, but it's not a fast tank, so it can turn and it can accelerate quite well. But it's limited to about 45 kilometers an hour, I believe. Um, and looking at this, it seems to me to reach about 40 to 41. So it's not a nimble tank. So it's not a no it's not a normal um, normal medium tank where it's uh, can reach 50 to 60 kilometers an hour, um, and can boom and zoom around the map. It seems it's more a fire platform, so it can fi fire shots. And look at the uh, bloom on the, on the gun, it's not really getting that big. He's in a good hold down position here. He's on the other side of the map, he's just going to wait for some, uh, some enemies to show up. And he doesn't have to wait too long, from what I remember. Oh, there he is, there's a pet, a Indian Panzer, which he, uh, oh no, that's not an Indian Panzer, that's a KV-3, sorry. Unfortunately, his shot hits the mountainside. His second shot, though, doesn't miss, and landing a nice healthy shot. Now, the damage on this gun, let's have a look, uh, 390 a average alpha damage, so it's similar to the pattern. Um, penetration of 168, which I believe this actually fires, uh, yes, uh, fires a PCR, um, armor piercing composite rigid ammo which is quite good. Now you can also take high explosive um, squash head ammo in this which the damage is um, 480 and 210 penetration which he hasn't got any of that so which is fair enough I think APCR would be enough. He's got 8 high explosive shells which I don't know why, why would you not why would you have 8 of those when you can probably have a couple of those I don't know I don't know, there's probably something something to it. He's also running a fire extinguisher in the fourth position, which I'm not sure why he would do that. Maybe it's because it's uh, nice and quick to grab. Um, he's got his first aid kit in the fifth position, which is interesting because I normally have it so I can repair my tracks instantly. And yes, and his small repair kit. Is that a large repair? No, it's a small repair kit. So it's a small first aid kit. And his repair kit's in the sixth position, which I'm not sure what that repairs off the top of my head. I can't remember. Um, but we'll see later on the battle what it can do. So, continue with the replay. The um, Super Pershing's actually rushed up there. He's uh, been quite aggressive. Um, 
unfortunately um, that shot goes right over the head of the um, KV-3. Now I'm, now I'm just thinking of uh, Guns of the Galaxy, nothing goes over my head. My reflex is too fast. Um, also a T-25, sorry, MT-25 pops up. He, put, he puts in a nice round there as well, quite a well above average roll. Now that MT-25's had enough, he's going to bugger off. So off he goes. That KV-3 is still there, the um, Pershing's taken a small hit. So, Matt, I'll refer to uh, Matt by just his first name. In this instant, he's just moving up. He does see a Type 62. Decides to take a shot at him. Why not? It takes a gun down the game. Yeah, anyway, away he goes. So, unfortunately, um, that f the left flank seems a little outgunned there, as most of the enemy tanks are there. The problem is, if, if you're with this tank, with this uh, battlefield, you've got to be very aggressive on it on the left side of the map. So on the um, down over here, you've got to be, you've got to make sure your team's fairly aggressive and pushes up through here if they can. Um, it's sometimes if you're fighting up here and they've got good to hold their positions up here, they can hold. You can have two or three tanks up here and they can hold off as much as they as you need because you can't take these guys out half the time. Also, if they've got a good fire base up here, they can actually fire down into this area. So you're kind of stuffed if you're down here, which is why this isn't my favourite spot to go to. I normally, if I'm going to go this way, I normally hang back over here so that I can um, take shots at anyone that comes down here. So. That's my preferred strategy. It doesn't always work, but, so, but I have got uh, some good games of that, which I may air at some point in the future. So, it looks like we've got an AFK T25 AT there, which is really unfortunate. Um, so far, it looks like we've got the IS-6, a T20, and AMX-5120, which is a very nasty and powerful tank there. Um, and it looks like they've had two casualties here, two casualties there, and, they've, and the enemy team's lost two casualties as well. So, and they've also got, looks like they've got a force of, well, that's at least four tanks. It's the Eggpanzer, a Ferdinand, uh, Centurion 7 as well, and an IS-6. So they're going to come in over here. Um, another option, they could come in through here, which which can be also very nasty, but... Um, they, in this case, they're going to come down here, so we'll continue with this replay. Enemy is hit. They're just going to work over this um, Tiger, although unfortunately the Super Persian is going to perish due to the far superior reload of 6 seconds on the Tiger. But luckily Matt takes him out. Matt's actually um, done quite well in managing not to take any hit hits or damage yet, which um, is going to save him later on in this game. So, he's noticed that they have broken through over here now, so he's going to turn around and provide some rear fire. Especially as he's above them, he can fire at the roofs of um, other tanks, which has got no armor, but in this case he's behind everyone, so he's going to pop out and pop a round to that Yag Panther too. Actually, I was wrong. They did actually come come around the other way. That A T twenty five A T is a also he's come to life and he is coming to fight. T twenty just bounced off the rear, Enemy off the side destroyed. of his tank. Beg your pardon. Not sure what that T twenty was firing. He puts around for the super pershing. He's um he's done quite well so far. He's actually um got three of the five kills on um, his team and he's already done 3,621 damage. Nice hit onto the top of the turret of the uh, IS-6 there. I believe the IS-6 turret can be overmatched quite easily. I actually did want an IS-6 um, not too long ago but I'm actually starting to wonder if I want a uh, T-34-3 uh, Chinese medium premium tank. I'm starting to like the look of those, but we'll see. So he takes his first hit there, and now his team's getting outflanked. So that IS-6, 
Uh, unfortunately, his uh, round impacts a rock. Now he gets into this little alcove here, which um, is uh, really good. He's bounced a shot there very nicely indeed. Puts a round into the front of the IO6. And oh dear, there's a. This this is not good for him. Here's a there's a Centurion 7 1 on full health behind him. But he's managing to bounce lots of shots from this IS 6. Now I, I personally would be turning around and focusing down this um Centurion because then he can be aggressive, but this is the problem he can't really do any of that. Looks like the Centurion 7 1 there has the stock gun, the 20 pounder. Um which is to his advantage. Oh dear. So, so he takes out the Ferdinand. A nicely placed shot to the lower plate. Oh, his gun's damaged now, which is uh, going to not serve him very well. He's got 14 seconds. He, take, he takes out the last of the HP of the Centurion 7 1. It puts another round to the IS 6. And then he just doesn't have enough time to reload to finish it off. He bounces two shots in the end. I remember, what, I remember when I watched this for the first time, I was actually very heartbroken that he actually lost this. Um, but unfortunately, his team just derped out on him and just didn't work well. So this move no, I can't do that. Um doesn't matter. So what we'll do so what we can see here is um oh, here we go, we can rewind it so we can um come on. So okay, as you can see as you can see from the map um, unfortunately his team were defending here and they unfortunately did not um, did not succeed in defending here and also they they were far too aggressive here in my opinion at least four tanks went up here and they all died because they went because basically they came in they basically they lost here um, they sh yeah it's hard to say what they should have done but they Probably, if they were lose, if they'd lost here, they should have fallen back and tried to y get down here and use the terrain in here to take out the tanks as they come down this road because this this road has no cover, so you can actually use the hold down positions here, and I believe there's some over here in the far side to actually take some of these guys out, and if they're coming up here, you can also use the terrain over here and up here to take these guys out. I've actually done. Um, Call on damage in a T20 and a tier 9 match. Or was that? No, that was in a Pershing, sorry, in a tier 10 match. Um, I managed to just keep doing damage while they were coming up here because I just didn't have the gun relation to keep hitting me, so. Um, but uh, unfortunately, I just couldn't do enough damage in the amount of time that, until I. before I died, so. But yeah, that was a really good game by Matt there. Um, I was thoroughly impressed and one of the highest um, damaging games so far that has uh, been on my channel. Now, he. Let's just fast forward it to the point where he will. Okay, okay. So, he's ended up with quite a good score there. So, he's got. Um, what was it? Damage of 5,948. Uh, and a W and 8 score of 9,114, which is uh, excellent. Um, and even on a loss, I'd be quite happy with that, especially if I did that much damage and got that W and 8 score, because it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking to do well and increase your win rate, um, y you should be platooning if you're worried about your win rate, but if you want to increase your W, w and 8 score, um, even on a loss, just make sure you do as much damage as possible. Ho try and do damage to win the game, but don't, so don't farm damage. Um, but you should always be trying to do as much damage as possible, and doing two to three thousand a game would is uh, depending on what tank I am in. I like to do around two thousand. Uh, that's what I call a successful game for me. So yes, um, very good game to Matt, and thank you for the replay. Now.
let's um, head to the post-game stats and we shall check out what he got there. Okay, unfortunately that was a defeat, however it was a first class um, mastery game which was um, quite good there. He got the fighter award for destroying five, uh, four or five enemy vehicles in one battle. He got the shell proof um, ribbon which is for um, have total damage blocked by armour that exceed the hit points of your vehicle so he blocked quite a bit of damage. He got fire for effect to do more damage than you have hit points. So that which is always good, and damage any vehicles or engine crew that of at least five tanks in battle. He killed five tanks, which is always good. Um, he also got steel wool, and he got the high caliber medal, which well he did six over six thousand damage. He if he didn't get that, I would have been a bit surprised. Um, he did damage to quite a number of the enemy team, and under the team scores, let's well. He did double the damage of uh, the enemy, uh, oh, not quite double, almost double of the Annex 5120. And uh, yeah, quite did quite well. And compared to the rest of his team, he did better than what the next five players combined. Um, and look at the XP he got. He got um, 1217 um, average X, uh, just base XP without a premium account. I don't think he's running a premium account. Oh no, he is. He is running a premium account. Um, <coughs> and uh, shots fired 24, which have 18 hit and 18 penetrated. The gun of Centurion um, 7-1 is quite good, so uh, most hits I've seen that anyone's fired from it have penetrated. Um, so it would take a lot to bounce a shot, I think. Maybe an E100 or something like that. Um, damage 6,376, so the Replay was a bit odd there. It didn't report the exact same uh, damage, so he probably had a better W18, probably 10,000 or so. So um, damage blocked by armor, 2,610. That's really good. Um, he spotted only one vehicle, but he damaged 10 of them and destroyed five. Um, so he got he he got most of his team's kills pretty much. Cause I believe they only killed seven. Let's have a look. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Yeah, he, he got most of the kills, which is really good. And he travelled a very short distance of 1.589 kilometres, which <sighs> that, that doesn't really matter much anyway. Um, he f fired a fair few, fair few rounds of ammunition. The ammunition must be fairly expensive in um, Centurion Seven One. I'm guessing it's a thousand per shot or so, a bit similar to the pattern or so. Um, and he. He got 81,000 um, credits and a profit of 35, which is not bad. That's not bad for one game. And, uh, yeah, eight, 1,825 XP with 90 XP going to free XP, which is um, very nice. Match only lasted 6 minutes and 45 seconds, which... Um, I'm really sorry, Matt, that you lost this game, and uh, I hope you have some better ones in the future. But this was a, a really entertaining replay to watch, and I hope you send me more. So, guys, um, not much else to say on that. He couldn't have done much, much different in that battle. Um, I mean, he was pretty much once he got to that point in the middle of the map, he was stuck between a rock and a hard place, almost literally. Um, I mean, he pretty much his team failed him. He was only able to um, do what he could in that game. So, yeah, my hat off to you. I hope um, I hope it wasn't too bad a night or or day whatever you play. So, yeah. Yeah, really good game. Really enjoyed watching that. And I really enjoyed doing this um, replay. So, um, yeah, so uh, guys, please send me your replays because you're uh, you're pretty much um, guaranteed at this stage to get your replay up because um, uh, right now I'm not playing World of Tanks because I haven't got the time. Um, I'll probably be playing this weekend saying that. Um, and, yeah, so... As I said, send in your replays. Um, down in the, uh, it's down in the um, video description where you can send them. Um, please upload them to what replays or even Quickie Baby's replay site if you want to put them there. I don't mind. I'm not, I'm not fussy. 
um, just send me the link to them uh, and that, cause that's just easy so I can actually see uh, the summary of the game like I've got here because that's what I'm really literally recording I'm literally recording off the what replay site so I've got um, I can go through and have a look at the different scores and stuff like that so it really helps me just find out what the game is like because cause if you send me a game that's like 300 damage in a tier 10 battle I'll, I'll kind of be like uh, yeah you got to do a little bit better than that um, it's got to be something where you do something pretty spectacular, or, or if it's, f or if you see something funny, that's cool as well. If you see so like a mouth and suddenly just suddenly just gets catapulted in the air, which I have seen. So, um, if you see something funny like that, if you've got a low damaging game, you have something like that, and that's going to make it on the channel. Um, so yeah, send me something funny, amazing, or something that just is suspenseful. Um, or just a generally good game, like, you just have to be a spectacular game. So just send me it anyway, I'll look at it, I'll either say it's not good enough, or it is good enough. Um, if it's not good enough, don't despair, because you can just keep sending me replays. Um, don't send me every replay you have, I'm not going to go through several hours of replays to, um, to, uh, just to put it up, I'm, I'm too lazy for that sort of thing. Um, and I haven't got the time, I've got, I've got a full-time job, I've got a wife and two kids to look after, so, yeah, um, I would like to have time, but may, not just the moment, we don't have time. Anyway, guys, um, that's it for this re this replay, I hope you really enjoyed it, I certainly did, and I will see you next time.